Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. Shout out to Milker Nation. Thank you for your hard work into this 10-hour documentary on the Beritaria scam. Let's get right into it. The last video was a great video. It was uh, That one was for Brandon and Hey Boy. Oh, insights. Because we have... Um, I will tell you my theory about how stealing isn't even possible. His theory on how stealing isn't even possible. I want to do 17 minutes just repeating what he just said. The asinine, the ridiculous, the manipulative. There are so many things that you could say about that. This guy right here. Look at that face. All right, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Do not do that. On Benjamin Comedy, uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be lit. I got some good insights because we have, um, I will tell you my theory about how stealing isn't even possible. Now, mind you, in the last, the last 17 minute video, he said that he made two different statements. He said that one, it's calculated. His live streams are calculated. And then he spends another few minutes explaining how none of it's intentional and he didn't put any thought into anything. And he didn't even mean to talk about some of the things that he talked about and all that kind of stuff. And now he's saying, Tomorrow, I've got a good one for you tomorrow because uh, uh, unlike all the other ones that I don't ever put any thought into and it's just kind of how that works out, I've actually put thought into tomorrow's and it's going to be on Benjamin Comedy. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be lit. I got some good insights because we have, um, I will tell you. I have some good insights. <laughs> my theory about how stealing isn't even possible i'll explain uh you know insights because we have um i will tell you my theory about how stealing isn't even possible i know that that gets old R rewinding it and repeating it and i i know <laughs> i know Well, I don't even know what kind of look that is. Is that pride? I mean, look, cut his cut one, cut his face in half, right? Let's do this. Cut his face in half, and so you have that part of the face. So there's that kind of look. And will it let me do this up? And then there's that. I'll explain, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. I got some good insights. Whenever I don't stream for a couple of days, I uh, I have a gravy build up, and then it uh, I have a virtue squirt. All <laughs> yeah. To to I understand that there's some mixed theories and uh, memories of how the old gravy thing be came about, and. I think it's it, that's a testament to people's different p different people's perspective and reality. Everybody, not everybody has the same reality. Everybody has the chance for the same reality, but not everyone has the same reality and or, and perspective. But one thing that is clear is that no matter how the whole gravy thing started three years ago, it was still in a sexual connotation there that's unmistakable with what he just said uh, you know all kinds of stuff i got some good insights whenever i don't stream for a couple of days i uh i have a gravy build up and then it uh i have a virtue squirt all <laughs> like all roads lead back there's no way is a virtue squirt the same thing as virtue signaling that's a weird way of saying that besides the the obvious connotations to it. Steal. Let me explain. What? Whenever I don't stream for a couple of days, I uh, I have a gravy build up, and then it uh, I have a virtue squirt. All <laughs> like all roads lead back. 
There's no way to steal. Let me explain. BB, you interrupted my listening to 920. All right, cool. Um, every action, regardless of intention, always ends up gravy. You're... Every action, regardless of intention, always ends up gravy. I want, I want every, every action, regardless of intention, always ends up gravy. Now, there's a scripture similar to that. All things work together for the good for those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. But that's a, per, what he said is a perversion of that. Because you can try to manipulate that particular scripture to get where he's going, but it's a perversion of it. He's every action, regardless of intention. That is a very indirect way of saying, do what thou wilt shall be the entirety of the law. There's a, there's, there's a term that I've, I have been neglecting to use and I don't neglecting is the wrong word negating to use that I've been refusing to use to describe Owen because it's, it's a term now cult leader for sure. But there's another term that I have that I haven't used yet. And as this continues, it's getting more and more obvious that that is what this is. Do, do you understand how dangerous that is? What you can talk yourself into if that's what you genuinely believe. Every action. There's no way to steal. Let me explain. BB, you interrupted my listening to 920. All right, cool. Um, every action, regardless of intention, always ends up gravy. Every action, regardless of intention, always ends up gravy. The, the disgusting things that you can get away with if you truly believe that. There are no limits to the depravity that, that you allow yourself to go to if that is what you really believe. Every action, regardless of intention, so no matter what you do, for whatever reason, always ends up gravy. Always ends up good. I guess gravy is a pseudonym or whatever you want to call it for the word good. It always works out. Every intention or every action, so no matter what you – every action, no matter what you do, regardless of intention, regardless of motive for the reasons why you do it. So everything that you do is good. Do what thou well shall be the entirety of the law. That is – that – You're like – if your intention is good, you will benefit and those around you will – That's not That's not what that means at all. You said regardless of intention. Benefit. If your intention is bad, um, the people you're trying to – like let's say you have a bad intention. Someone else has a good intention. You're not going to hurt the other person. You understand? It's the, it's the opposite of a Ponzi scheme. It's the exact inverse. It's like the para – or the, you know like the black-white duality? So – I'll explain it tomorrow. I've it's it, it's it's meaningless. It's Luciferian. It is uh, dark magic. It is wizardry, uh, comedy, and Sadducean magician. This is absolutely disgusting, dangerous behavior. This is absolutely one hundred percent, without a doubt, dangerous behavior to to teach people and to preach the message that no matter what you do, it is good. No matter the intention, it is good. Everything's a seed. <laughs> so let's, okay. So it's, it's not like this is a kid. This is a teenager. This is a early 20s trying to figure something out. No, no. This is a, a human being who is a father, who is a husband, who has traveled the world in a sense, who is caught up in a scam. And this is him trying to attempt to justify his actions. Let's say hypothetically, this is a great way to explain it. Like I'm uh, creating the bear trail. You guys are creating the bear trail. We're all creating the bear trail. Bertaria. We're all, we're all uh, guilty of this thing that we're doing, but that's not the case. That's not the case. It's him. It's him. He's the spearhead. 
Okay, let's say someone said. I apologize for being animated during this. This one, this one's got my. This one is a a dang, This was. This is clearly dangerous. You can speculate on the other things and come, but this is absolutely one hundred percent dangerous. Owen's and, real and evil plan is just to to get all the. Like, this is a great way to explain it. Like I'm uh, creating the bear trail. You guys are creating the bear trail. We're all creating the bear trail. Bertaria. Okay, let's say someone said Owen's real plan is just to to get all this money because people trust him and then he's going to make a break for it. And then, okay, just play that through. Think three steps ahead. Let's say somebody did that. Like, let's say somebody raised money because he had thousands of people that supported him and supported a dream. And then he put it into a little duffel bag and he ran off to New Zealand and bought a big mansion in it. Okay, who has the last laugh? Everybody he ripped off because he just burned everything that was good for nothing. And then you go to New Zealand. Say this guy stole a bunch of money from everybody and he, he made a, a break for it and, and got away and, and went somewhere and got a mansion. Who had the last laugh? The people he stole from, they had the last laugh. It's moments like this that I remember. I, I'm going to go back and, and look and see what their name was because I want to give them credit for this, um, for challenging him for, to a slap fight. Yeah. And you realize it's about to be controlled by the Chinese. Like, you can't pick what wealth will be. You can't pick what uh, currency will be. You can't trick anybody. Every time someone thinks that they can scam the law, they only end up hurt. That's why masturbation in the Bible was called self-abuse. Sometimes you just have to take a breather. Like that they can scam the law. They only end up hurt. That's why masturbation in the Bible was called self-abuse. Like when you steal, you abuse yourself. Because the person that you tricked will be blessed from their intention, not what you do. Like let's say hypothetically, I steal all the money and I get a big house. You end up like what? Alex Jones crying in your house, broke. That's, I mean, that's kind of what happened. We're tra time travelers going right now, right? We're listening to him in 2020, but it's really 2023, and we know what he did with that money. He did end up in a big house. Out of all these promises that he has made, saying, I'm not going to build my house. I'm going to concentrate on Bear Tari, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to live in a barn, blah, blah, blah. He, he literally did that. That's what he did. He knew. This is him. This is premeditated. This is three years ago. A couple of months after it started, June, July, August, around July, the beginning of July. So within a month, uh, that's how quickly his intentions went out the window. And then three years later, there are still people with them bear goggles firmly welded to their face like Titty Bear and Brandon and Hayboy, Coddington. That's one of the, I'm, I'm, con, I'm, um, conflicted because when you listen to what he says, which is straight Luciferian wizardry, manipulation, predatorial behavior, very dangerous, very dangerous. No matter what you do, no matter why you do it, what your motivations are, it's good. That's what he is. Pre that's his gospel. That's what he's preaching in this moment. Now, I'm sure has it changed? Yes. I don't want to. But whenever he, whenever he's pressed to the fire, what comes out? That's it. That's how you can tell the character of a man is whenever he is pressed to the fire, what comes out? And right now he is being held to the fire. He's literally going to come out with a stream tomorrow on August 22nd and convince people why stealing isn't a thing, why it's impossible to steal. 
marriage, drug, you know, will be blessed from their intention, not what you do. Like, let's say, hypothetically, I steal all the money and I get a big house. You end up like what? Alex Jones crying in your house, broken marriage, drug, you know, substance abuse problems. Instead, me and my family are in the corner of a barn happy. Alex Jones, shout out to Alex Jones right now. Comparing what he did, what he is going to do to Alex Jones, who um, maybe the most questionable thing that I know about Alex Jones is the supplements that he sells. I don't know. Sometimes those those are good, beneficial, whatever. But that's probably one of the most questionable things. Has he said some crazy things? Absolutely. But who else has? This dude literally just said, no matter what you do, no matter the intention, it's good. And these people like Alex Jones and uh, Roseanne, they don't pay attention enough because of their busy lives. That's one of the, that is that man. Yeah. As, po- as we could possibly be because our intentions are strong in your house broken marriage drug you know substance abuse problems instead me and my family are in the corner of a barn happy as po- as we could possibly be because our intentions are strong your is is uh in this moment is he already in idaho is he already living in that corner of a barn is he saying all of this while his house, his custom house is being built? Is that the time frame of this? Within a month of him starting this Bertaria scam, is he already building his house? <sighs> this is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.